Hey Pulse Youth Group, this is David, your youth pastor. It is November 9th, 2011, and these are your Wednesday night announcements. we got a great bunch of announcements for you tonight. There's a lot to reflect on, so let's get to it. But before you do, make sure you have your handout fully read by the time you leave, because there's lots of stuff to reflect on there as well. Here we go. Like my maker, I say you the best. I know you can't see it all by yourself, but you are beautiful. Out her reflection in the mirror for some reason she don't see the beauty is in the picture thinking her image flow cause he ain't made her like those models on come on so this weekend I'm telling you and I mean it expect the unexpected this weekend we're gonna let God get I'm going to introduce myself. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage right now, one of the funniest comedians on the stage. Give it up for the purple people eater himself, John Gray. Won't stop singing about me. I can't take the smile off my face. It's your love, so my resonates. I can't stop thinking about you. You won't stop thinking about me. I can't take the smile off my face. It's your love, so it resonates in me. It resonates in me. I connected with God a lot more than because I've had a, a rough week last two weeks and today was just like a break from everybody in the world. <laughs> Just like living day to day, doing what my friends were doing, just to be the cool one at school, and like, but not for, I mean, it wasn't for anything. I sort of, for a long time, um, I think I was kind of doubting God and I had lost complete faith. We're supposed to simultaneously receive and grab a hold of everything God has done for us while letting go of our life at the same time and submitting it to his control. But you know what I think happens sometimes is we see what Jesus has done for us and we realize we need it, so we want to grab a hold of everything that God has for us, but then we don't want to let go of our life. And so we end up with not very good results. In sports and stuff or in other activities, being normal is literally not enough, you know. If you want to be special, you got to step up your game and, you know, be, be, be something. This is not a season for safe Christianity. This is not a season for normal Christians. There is no such thing. The world hates what we stand for, but you've got to get a boldness in your spirit to say, I serve Jesus Christ. If you want to live life loud, pull your hands up.
Oh, in your eyes. Go no. go around. I'm a ninja. Oh, hurry up. Oh, hurry up. Oh, oh, up. Get a mask on. On the count of three, I, you are going to rip the paper off the other ninja. The, don't stand like that ready to rip. Stand, get some space between you guys, all right? All right, the ninja who gets the other ninja's paper off first wins. But you got to keep your own paper on. On your mark. Get set. Go, ninjas. On your mark, it's a fight to the death, set, go! Come on, Jake, throw him a better fight, bro! Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roman wins. Roman wins. Oh, oh, Roman wins. I'm calling it because you guys are gonna hurt yourself. Good job, guys. Good job. High five. But in this darkness, I hear you calling my name to come home. Come home. There are more people in the world without a single verse of scripture in their language than the entire population of the United States. In fact, there are more people who don't have a complete Bible in their language than people who don't have enough food and clean water combined. This is Bible poverty. Think about what God's word means to you. Now imagine living your entire life without it. Over 7,000 people die every day without having the opportunity to hear the gospel in their own language. Bible poverty, it's a big deal. But there is a simple solution. Translate God's word into every language on the planet. Along with many partner organizations, One Verse has committed to seeing the Bible translated into all the remaining languages within this generation. But we can't do it alone. We need your help. Download the Sacrificial Giving app and help us spread the word. Bible poverty is a big deal. 
please join us in ending one of the greatest injustices facing the world today.